Hello, and welcome to, Today in History, I'm your host, Abdalman El Dara, and I'm excited to take you on a journey through some of the most significant historical events that occurred on this day in history, so let's jump right in. On May 28, 1588, the Spanish Armada set sail from Lisbon, Portugal, with the intent to invade England. This naval fleet, consisting of around 130 ships, was commissioned by King Philip II of Spain and aimed to overthrow Queen Elizabeth I and restore Catholicism in England. The Spanish Armada's voyage marked a significant moment in European history, as it ultimately led to a series of naval battles with the English fleet and resulted in the defeat of the Armada, securing England's status as a Protestant nation and solidifying its naval dominance. On this day, May 28, in 1892, the Sierra Club was founded in San Francisco, California, by John Muir and a group of conservationists. The Sierra Club is one of the oldest and largest environmental organizations in the United States, dedicated to protecting and preserving natural landscapes and promoting environmental awareness. With a focus on wilderness conservation, the Sierra Club has played a pivotal role in advocating for environmental policies and promoting outdoor recreation and appreciation of nature. On May 28, 1937, Neville Chamberlain became the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Chamberlain is notable for his policy of appeasement towards Nazi Germany, particularly his signing of the Munich Agreement in 1938 which aimed to avoid war by allowing Germany to annex Czechoslovakia's Sudetenland. However, this policy ultimately failed, and Chamberlain's leadership was criticized as World War II ensued. His tenure as Prime Minister marked a significant period of British history leading up to the war and highlighted the complexities of dealing with aggressive regimes through diplomacy. On this day, May 28, in 1937, the German automaker Volkswagen was founded with the aim of mass-producing an affordable people's car. Originally operated by a Nazi organization, Volkswagen developed the iconic Volkswagen Beetle, a compact and economical vehicle. While the company's early ties to the Nazi regime are part of its history, the Beetle went on to become a globally beloved car, symbolizing post-war recovery and establishing Volkswagen as a prominent automaker. On May 28, 1961, Amnesty International was founded in London, England, by British lawyer Peter Benenson. Amnesty International is a non-governmental organization dedicated to advocating for human rights and fighting against human rights abuses worldwide. The organization works to raise awareness, monitor human rights violations, and campaign for justice and freedom for individuals at risk. Amnesty International's efforts have had a significant impact on promoting human rights and influencing global policies to protect vulnerable populations. On May 28, 1965, a tragic mine explosion occurred in Darbad, India, resulting in the loss of 375 lives. This disaster, known as the Darbad Coal Mine Disaster, was one of the deadliest mining accidents in Indian history. The explosion was caused by a combination of factors, including improper ventilation and the ignition of accumulated methane gas. The incident shed light on the need for improved safety measures in mining operations and highlighted the risks faced by miners in their hazardous working conditions. On this day in 1991, the rule of the Marxist regime in Ethiopia came to an end when the Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front EPRDF, took control of Addis Ababa, the capital city. The EPRDF, a coalition of various Ethiopian rebel groups, successfully overthrew the Marxist government led by Mengistu Haile Mariam. The change in leadership marked a significant shift in Ethiopia's political landscape and paved the way for the establishment of a new government focused on democratic reforms and socio-economic development. On May 28, 2006, a historic moment in baseball occurred as Barry Bonds, playing for the San Francisco Giants, hit his 715th home run, surpassing Babe Ruth's long-standing record. Bonds' achievement placed him second on the all-time home run list, 
behind only Hank Aaron. The record-breaking homer solidified Bond's place as one of the most prolific power hitters in baseball history, while also igniting debates surrounding his alleged use of performance-enhancing drugs and its impact on his records. On this day in 2008, Nepal witnessed a significant turning point in its political structure as the country voted to abolish its 240-year-old monarchy. The Constituent Assembly of Nepal, elected in 2008, voted in favor of declaring Nepal a federal democratic republic. This decision marked the end of the Shah dynasty's reign and established Nepal as a republic, with the president as the head of state. The abolition of the monarchy reflected the aspirations of the Nepalese people for a more inclusive and democratic form of governance. That's it for today's episode of Today in History. I hope you enjoyed learning about these significant events that took place on this day throughout history. Join me again tomorrow for another exciting episode. Thanks for watching.